Say you love me, say it like you mean it Cause lately I've been wondering if we should be together Tell me how you feel, it's now or never, now or never But you're yelling at me for something I didn't even do Making it so hard for me, yeah, I think I need a vacation all we ever do now is complaining And I've been getting tired of it lately oh, Feels like we're battling Maybe it's better if we're on our own Good morning, everybody. I started my day off with some laundry. As you can see, it's actually about time to switch those loads, so that's good. Got my little babies with me here. I was making a list of the things that I want to cook coming up this week, and then I just cooked myself some food. If you guys saw the last vlog, I made myself some squeezed homemade orange juice, and I just tried it for the first time this morning, and it literally doesn't even need like anything. This is just pure orange juice no sugar no literally like no water nothing just pure squeezed orange juice and it is so freaking good i just put some ice in it oh my god that was so weird i put some ice in it and a little straw and it's so delicious like so refreshing and then i just made myself a little breakfast kind of sandwich so my favorite way to make bread i have it up on my tiktok if you guys want to see a little mini tutorial but i make it in the pan and i spray it and put like salt and garlic pepper no garlic powder on there and it's so freaking good so if you guys want to see that it's on my tiktok and then i fried up some egg whites with some like onions and cilantro and stuff and then i fried up a piece of a few pieces of turkey in the pan as well i just put on some raw spinach and then some avocado and this is about to be bomb so i'm gonna enjoy my breakfast and then we're gonna get in a workout for today it is already 11 34 i kind of just laid in bed for a little bit longer than i wanted to today but that's okay we're still gonna get everything done so i'm gonna enjoy and then let's work out you guys so we started sleeping with the fans on because it got hot in here at night hey 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 and bella loves it look at her little face when it blows on her <laughs> belly benji just bothered you and now your lips up look at that lip oh my oh that fan is nice <laughs> you love it benji just bothered her now she doesn't like it anymore why are you always being so rude hi come here mama Oh my goodness, look at this baby. Babe, I think we own the sweetest cat in the world. You love it in here? <laughs> All right, here is the workout that we're doing today. A 30 minute standing cardio workout. I do the Pop Sugar Fitness videos. You guys always ask me, I will have this video linked down below. I try to do a different one every day so that I don't get bored because if I do the same routine, I definitely will stop doing it because I just will not want to do it again. I like to have like a surprise, like not knowing what I'm going to do rather than like, oh, I have to do this again. So this one I thought would be good for today because I want to like get my heart rate going, like break a sweat. And like, I feel like when I'm sitting on the ground doing like, say like an ab exercise, I'm not sweating as much as like full standing cardio. So hopefully this one is like high pace. I'm going to regret saying that five minutes in, but for now, I feel like I want to do something like high pace. All those feelings, want to take it back when it was you and me in the sheets. I don't wanna go, I don't wanna go But you're yelling at me for something I didn't even do Making it so hard for me, yeah, I think I need a vacation Cause all we ever do now is complaining And I've been getting tired of it lately Oh, feels like we're battling it's better if we're on our own. Okay, okay, it has been a while. I got my workout in, got ready for the day. I put in some more loads of laundry, switched some. What else did we do? I feel like I have so much that I want to say right now, and I don't even know like what to get out first. I washed some dishes, cleaned up the kitchen. It is a stunning 
day outside i have like the screen open hello yeah you can totally see that we can like lift up this screen on our door and get some fresh air and the only hard part is that benji sits up here and kind of like pushes it in and like scratches at it so i have to like teach him oh look at that he already broke it and i did not even know until right now lovely okay well if you guys have any idea on how i can oh man that's so annoying all right we're gonna have to fix that because he's been leaning on the screen that's the hard part about keeping the screen open is the cats want to look out so they like lean up against it damn it okay well anyways mommy wants to get fresh air but you maybe i'll just close it a little bit watch out i'm gonna close you in bench oh you're just gonna lay right there okay great <laughs> and then there's this one right in the sun <laughs> Anyways, today is kind of like a random day. I have some random things that I've been wanting to get done tonight for dinner. Zane and I are going to try making this whole chicken. Oh, we're not going to show you like the gross part of it. Zane's going to do all that. I'll show you how we like season it and stuff. And then on the side, I'm going to make some uh, buffalo cauliflower from Skinny Taste Air Fryer Cookbook. I have been wanting to make it, but I'm like, what do I put on the side with that? Like maybe french fries, but I wanted like something like, like a meat. So I think it's good that we'll roast this whole chicken. We can have some like roasted chicken. Hey, 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 be nice. Did Benji bother you and now he's going to lay in your spot? That's so messed up, huh? The audacity. Anyways, point being of what I was saying is I was waiting to see like what I could make with the buffalo cauliflower so I didn't just make it by itself because I wouldn't be filling. So I think that tonight is a good night to do so. So I'm pretty sure she has a picture of it in here. Please hold. There we go, a buffalo cauliflower nuggets. You need egg, flour, cauliflower, olive oil spray, red hot, butter, and then we'll probably dip in ranch because we don't really like blue cheese, and then carrot sticks and celery. We have all of that. So I'm gonna make that on the side. Zane will roast the chicken. That's what we're doing for dinner tonight because you guys know my videos are based on food. <laughs> Tomorrow is Zane's little sister's birthday and we have a gift for her. We got her like a nail gel kit and I'm not gonna be vlogging tomorrow, so that's why I'm vlogging today so that I don't have to film on her birthday. She just probably doesn't want a camera in her face on her birthday, but she's gonna be 15. So crazy, because when Zayn and I started dating, she was literally eight years old. So to watch her like grow up into a teenager, so weird. Hearing her curse, so weird. But I'm excited tomorrow we're gonna have like a family day, which I think it is really good for me to like spend it off camera and kind of just enjoy my day. So today I wanna do a little bit of prepping for that. I am looking at my phone to find my notes of what I have to do today. Anyways, point being is we have a nail kit for her. She wanted to do like the dip gel by herself. So we got her a kit, but that's kind of all we got her. We have a birthday card cause I always have a stock of birthday cards, which is good. And then I also wanna give her some dry shampoo. And I was like, oh my God, like I have this dry shampoo that I freaking love, let me get it for her. But then I was like, wait a second, I bought a two pack so I can just give her that other one instead of going to the store just to get dry shampoo and then I think I want to give her like an Amazon little gift card but I'm pretty sure you can do that electronically nowadays so I want to avoid going to the store so that's what we're gonna do so even if I have to just like give her cash and like say spend it on Amazon and then she can like use Jerry's credit card or something I don't know I also have like a random boohoo return to do I want to post some stuff on Poshmark so I'm gonna kind of take you guys through just a random day in the life of things that I have to get done. So I got a new sheet set on Amazon and since we're doing laundry, I stripped the bed and I figured why not put on the fresh, actually we should freaking wash these, huh? Yeah, we should. But I got um, a king size for a bed, but I got like deep pocket sheets because I'm so damn sick of our sheets slipping off the corners of our bed while we're sleeping. It is the most annoying thing to me. I don't know why. So I finally got like deep pocket sheets so that hopefully they don't come off. The reviews on this was really good. And it's literally one sheet. Like I didn't even buy a set. Like I spent, I think maybe 25 bucks on this one sheet. So it was like kind of more pricey, but I didn't need a set. Like I didn't need all those extra pillowcases and stuff. So I figured let me spend a little extra and get like a really nice quality sheet that's actually gonna stay on the bed. This feels nice and soft. So my next plan was gonna be to put the sheet on the bed. So since that's delayed, we're gonna do the Poshmark. And honestly, I just can't be bothered to put, try on all these bathing suits and put them on. So I'm just gonna take pictures of them all and um, I will just throw them up on Poshmark for you guys. If you are interested, there will be new bathing suits on the Poshmark. I'm gonna use this like little white fuzzy blanket, throw it on the bed, give it a little backdrop. This is a good time of the day to do this too because I have the natural lighting coming in from the window. So even though I'm not trying them on, it'll be at least like nice quality pictures. Vacation, all we ever do now is complaining. 
I've been getting tired of it lately oh, Feels like we're battling all right, I just finished up. These are all gonna be on my Poshmark now, so if you guys want to go snatch them up, you totally can. I just wanna show you really quick if you're interested to get like a better view on here. So this one is a one piece. It's like a short romper, which is really cute. When I was like super insecure, I wore this because it's very covering, very comfortable. This is a size large, I believe. So if you are interested, go snatch it up. Underneath these like flowy shorts, it has like a fitted um, bathing suit as well, which is really good. And then up top, it does have padding so it's like a very light padding and then it ties around the neck it's super soft it has a tie right in between the boobs this one is a super cute two-piece it's like a rose top with a high-waisted bottom that's also a size large these three tops I'm gonna bundle together I love them they're from Target but just realistically for tanning I have other bathing suits that I would grab towards more because this has this like really pretty top up here and that would make just not good tan lines for me but if you are somebody that doesn't tan and just needs a bathing suit to go swimming in these are super super pretty this one also it's got like this really pretty top and you could just wear these with literally like black bottoms it's like super easy to pair with anything that you already have this is a cute one i bought a while ago and i just never wore it it's like a lacy kind of bathing suit these were like super trendy it's got like a lot of padding up here so it's super supportive and then it ties around the neck the padding isn't removable removable but it's like a bandeau kind of top super cute this is like a green one piece it's got like cut out sides and like some really cute um like stringiness in the back and then these are some two pieces this is like a low-rise bottom that has some cutouts the top is really flattering pretty and this is like a scalloped top and bottom bikini so that's that all right i got some donations in a bag i'm gonna go drop that off in the bin probably today because it's just so nice out it'll be nice to go for a drive and then i'm just waiting on an email from boohoo i sent them an email because for some reason my return label isn't printing properly so i'm gonna wait to get that and then i'll just drop both of these things off actually that can just go outside and they can pick it up so i'll probably just end up dropping this off today anyway regardless of if boohoo gets back to me or not but anyways what what she feel like I'm doing a science experiment. <laughs> Zane is about to do the chicken. There she is. Oh, sorry. I don't know if a lot of you guys probably don't want to see yeah, it. They don't want to see that. We've never done this before. This is my first time buying this. Um, they didn't have a lot of like fresh meat options for chicken. We usually get like chicken breast, chicken tenderloin. They only had thighs and full chicken. So I was just like, screw it. Why not? And it was only like, what, $5, $4.50 or something crazy like that. This is cool though. It feels fancy and it yeah. feels like a new, something what did I new. say before? Like a cooking adventure? It feels like a new uh, challenge or something. Yeah, it's something fun for us to try. Why not? We like rotisserie chicken. So well, like why not try to like roast our own i don't know i figured it would be something fun to try so we're doing this for the first time so if we mess it up let's hope not actually wait we you mess it up all right don't mess it up then <laughs> pressure's all on you <laughs> i'm gonna let zane do the nasty stuff he's watching a video on it and then after he's done and that goes into the oven it's gonna take like an hour and 15 minutes and these cauliflower nuggets do not take long at all so once that's in the oven then we'll start these but we're just gonna leave him to do that <laughs> in the meantime while he's doing that i'm gonna snack on this popcorn from Lidl. it is so freaking good and i need to put in the last load of laundry so i'm gonna dump out this clean basket go switch so at least it's going and then maybe we'll put all this away now <laughs> maybe later i also oh let me show you my outfit of the day by the way uh the next video that you guys are gonna see is gonna be a boohoo haul and that's where these are from i meant to order these so 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 long ago but i accidentally ordered the top that was in the picture i didn't realize that i was ordering the top not the bottoms in the pictures oh finally got those so cute and my crop top is the princess polly like basic tee it's my favorite like simple crop tees i have it in white and black i have so many things that i want to get done today like random little things that i'm like having a hard time deciding when to do what it's a struggle bella that's great oh what i was gonna say is oh my god bench look how freaking cute you are i've been getting so many things from amazon and i've been wanting to show you guys but it's kind of like random stuff so i'm thinking maybe compiling it into like an amazon haul in one of the recent vlogs coming up if you guys want that I mean, I'm gonna show you anyway. It just depends on like how I show you. So I'm thinking, waiting till a lot of stuff comes, and then just showing you all at once. I probably should have a lunch while all this is cooking. I'm so hungry. Also, I think I have talked about these before, but just in case you missed it, these from Amazon are the best socks. Like, if you're looking for like a nice thick white sock that isn't like see-through, and I don't know how, but they're like very flattering on the foot. 
if that makes sense. They have like the little extra lip back here for when you're wearing like sneakers. It doesn't like give you blisters and they're just really in a nice thick socks. I have so many black socks, but I kind of want to grab them in black just to have them because they're just so like thick and nice and affordable. I don't know. I just really love them. While Zane's finishing up the chicken, I'm going to put away some laundry and then I will show you guys how he's like seasoning it and everything like that. All right. If you don't want to look at a chicken, then skip ahead a little bit because... We're gonna season it and stuff. Here we go. I'm gonna grab some aluminum foil. We're gonna put it on a pan. I hope this comes out good. I think it will. You look like, it looks like you did a great job. I did put, okay. If you guys are interested in making what he did, I'll put the video that he used. Yeah. Yeah, the video, the recipe I'm following also has instructions, but I feel like it was easier to follow a video instead. Yeah, I don't think it was the greatest thing, but um, like my work, but I think for my first time it wasn't. Too bad, it looks pretty good, comparing to the photos that I was using. I'm putting a wire rack that we use for our toaster oven right on top of here, because we don't have like a proper one, but honestly, this works just fine, it fits. And then I'm just doing olive oil spray so that it doesn't stick. All right, Zane is melting two tablespoons, no. Four tablespoons. Four tablespoons of butter, and I'm going to mince up four cloves of garlic. I'm gonna count the two little small ones as one. Yo, I will say though, where I had to use the knife instead of the scissors. That knife is awesome. I know, that knife is incredible. Definitely one of the best like kitchen purchases. Definitely worth it too, even though I was like on the expensive side, like for sure. Yeah, but it. it was only 80 bucks. Like That's a lot for a little kitchen gadget, but like 100% worth it. Yeah. It's like one of the things that you invest in for sure. Mm -hmm. That looks so good actually. The cauliflower? Mm -hmm. I know, I'm excited to make it. You know why I don't feel relaxed? I have to edit a video. Uh oh. And get it up today. <laughs> All right, well, after we set this up, then you can be home free. Yeah. Well, I also have so much laundry to put away, too. <laughs> yeah, but that can always wait. You're also living with me. I'm so lenient. Imagine if I was like you. Babe! No, no, no. Like, I'm saying that's your job in the relationship. Imagine if it was both of us, and we were both on, like, each other's case all the time. It's, it's like a backhand compliment. It is, and it's supposed to be. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I love that about you. One of us has to be like that. That's Otherwise. True. If there was two of me, we balance each other out. Right. <laughs> okay, melted butter, salt, pepper. Do you want me to put the garlic in? Yes, please. Okay, minced garlic. Do we have rosemary leaves or no? No. Are we making our, sorry, growing parsley? We are, but it's not ready, ready right now, yeah. I feel like you could substitute parsley for... You could substitute, yeah. We have fresh basil, let's do that. It'd be so good. All right, I'm trusting you because you're a chef. Is this going in there too? Mm-hmm. It says roughly chopped, right? Yeah, yeah, No, it should be more like whole. All right, you guys, so we're changing up the recipe a little bit, but basil is like the best herb, so I don't see why we wouldn't. Basil in. <laughs> mix, 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 mix. Shake, 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 shake. Shake, 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 shake. Fun, right? It says brush the mixture over the entire surface. Mm -hmm. So is that this part? Yeah, the Or is that top. underneath too? No, I would just do the whole top. Yeah? Yeah. I just wanted to be like super flavorful. Yeah, I would do the whole pot. Alright. I'm just going to touch it again. Just touch it. And then just I wash know. Your hands. I know. You should do it this way. Because now it's falling through the cracks. Yeah, well, I aesthetically wanted it this way. <laughs> we can put the plan in that way. I can't believe it's so cheap. I think it's because people don't want to do all this work. Right. But you get so much food. If That's it comes what I was going to say. Like when we buy chicken by the pound, I just feel like this is so cheap. Yeah. But I guess you're only getting two breasts, two wings, two thighs. You yeah, know? definitely a good change up, you know? Yeah, she's falling through a little bit, but that's okay. I sprayed it. Yeah, I think that's why we need like the, the real, real wire, wire rack. Yeah, this case okay, will do. It's just supposed to give it some air underneath. Yeah, definitely better than nothing. Yeah. Okay. You could lift up the thighs and get it better. You think so? Yeah. Oh, I'm so hungry. I wish this wasn't gonna take an hour. <laughs> no, I think this recipe is quicker because I cut oh. it in half like this. Oh! It might be like 45 minutes. Oh my god, I better start making my cauliflower. Once this goes in, I'll make my cauliflower. Oh, this goodness. Oh my... Yo, if you combine garlic and butter, it's like automatically good. Yeah, for sure. Along with the fresh herbs, like there's mm -hmm. no way this isn't good. Oh yeah, it's gonna be good. Scoop up some of the goodness though. Like make sure you... Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Always listen to the miss. Always listen to the misses. <laughs> Where'd you get that from? Just made it up. Oh, you just believe in it, right? Right. Yeah. Experience taught me that. <laughs> oh my god, how is this? This is gonna be good. Yeah, there's no way it isn't, right? Yeah. 
This is literally me without my self tanner on. <laughs> Just raw chicken. <laughs> All right, chicken is in. It is gonna roast for about 35 minutes, and then we're gonna check on it, make sure it's to 165. You always want your chicken to be an internal temperature of 165 Fahrenheit. So I'm gonna start making the cauliflower nuggets. These are buffalo cauliflower from the Skinny Taste Air Fryer Cookbook. I already told you guys that. Very simple ingredients, half a cup of flour, three eggs. Um, how much butter? Let's see. One tablespoon of butter melted. And then, I don't know if I'm gonna use both of these heads, but we'll see how much one makes. I'm gonna put them in a strainer and then rinse them and clean them. And then once they're done, you toss them in your sauce. I'm gonna use this red hot buffalo sauce. And then I also am gonna do half the batch in this honey barbecue sauce, cause it's kind of just like, like as a chicken wing, so you can toss it in really whatever you want, so. Yeah, let's do this, I'm excited. Her recipe just says 28 bite size cauliflower florets, about one and a half inch, 16 ounces. So that actually helps, I can put it on the scale. Not that it really matters, I'm just gonna dip them in the flour and the egg and then fry them. So I guess it doesn't really matter how much. But these are pretty small heads of cauliflower, so I don't think we're gonna get too, too much out of it. So I probably will end up just making both because these are probably gonna be yummy anyway. And even if we have leftovers, we can always just throw them in the air fryer another day and then they'll just be like heated up perfectly. That's why I love the air fryer, especially for leftovers. It's the best. Can we just talk about how good the chicken smells? It smells amazing. Right? Yeah. Yeah, these are pretty small heads of cauliflower. Not that big. I'm curious though. I'm going to put it on the scale anyway just to see how much 16 ounces is. So that next time I make this, I can like gauge it. I do feel like these are a little big. I probably could have just washed the whole head by itself, but I feel like this is like a deeper clean. My hands are pruny, that's how much times I wash them. Uh -huh. So I'm actually almost done ripping these off and it's at almost 11 ounces already. So I think this actually might be 16 ounces, pretty accurate. She actually lives on Long Island, so I feel like that kind of gives the excuse that we get like similar produce, like whatever gets imported here, you know? Wow, she's accurate. 17.4 ounces, one head, not too shabby. You can probably regrow this. I should try gardening. All right, I'm going to start with this. I'm gonna go wash them off and then we'll start. Oh my God, this chicken smells so good. Okay, I want the cauliflower to be super dry, so I'm gonna lay down paper towel. I actually think I saw a bug in here too, so I'm glad that I cut it up first and then washed it. I feel like it got in all the little crevices, you know? I'm going to crack the eggs into the bowl. Sorry, this is hard to show you guys. Oh, there you go, now you can see three eggs into a bowl. When I'm standing here cooking, I have to move the garbage because it's like motion censored. So it's usually underneath me right here. But every time I move, it freaking opens and it's the most annoying thing. That was the weirdest way to crack an egg. All right, I'm gonna scramble the eggs up and then it says to dip into the egg and then into the flour and then spray both sides with oil and then just put them in the air fryer. That's literally it. Normally I would season the flour, but her recipe doesn't call for it, and I'm assuming probably the sauce will just give these all their flavor, so I'm not gonna season anything. And then I'm just taking these pieces of cauliflower that are a little bit like too big in my opinion. I want them to be more bite size, and I'm just gonna break them in half. Okay, now I have a toaster oven air fryer, so I like to line the basket with a piece of parchment paper. I get this pack from Amazon that's amazing. It doesn't like get like burnt in the air fryer. I've tried different parchment papers where it kind of just like burns to nothing. But this one is very strong and it lasts for some reason. We just use it on the bottom tier. It looks like this. I just throw it on top of here. I'm gonna spray this very well because we don't want them to stick. And here we go, into the egg. Let the excess drip off and then into the flour. Shake off the excess flour and then place on the parchment paper. I'm gonna have a dry hand and a wet hand. So I'm gonna use my hand to dip in the egg, put in the flour, use my other hand to coat it with flour. If you don't use a different hand for each, it's just gonna get gooky and like all over your hands. Not a good feeling. Shake off the excess flour and put it on. Setting the flame on my own. Chicken timer just went off. We're gonna check on this for the first time. Oh, oh shit. Look at that. <laughs> nice little color. I'm gonna take the temperature quick though and make sure that it's Gucci. Looks good. I think you could use 
a little more time. It's not like super brown. But, if you but it's getting broil there. it instead then. If it's 165, then I would broil it so that it wouldn't get dry. Oh, oh shit. God. How did I go off? Oh, oh fuck. Let's <laughs> back a little longer. I'm gonna open the window, especially because Benji's fine. What? Pretty close. Wow. So we're at like 155 right now. We're That's gonna give it like crazy. another 10 minutes or so. Okay, first batch is out. They're a tiny bit floury, but once the sauce goes on, they should be fine. They are nice and crispy. They look really good, smell really good. I got the second batch in. So basically I'm air frying them for four minutes and then I'm flipping them and doing another four minutes and they get nice and crispy. I do a lot of spray oil if it's like, like looks floury because you don't want it to be like a dry flour on there. That won't taste good. But we are now gonna toss them. So like I said, this first batch, I'm gonna do with the hot sauce and she says to do a tablespoon of melted butter and then six table, actually wait, this has to be halved if I'm doing half the batch. Should I just do the mall buffalo instead of honey barbecue? I mean, I would prefer that. Buffalo? Yeah, I don't think barbecue, I mean barbecue. I'm just gonna do the mall buffalo because we already melted the butter and I don't wanna like, I just don't wanna mess it up. Wait, so if you're gonna follow it to a tea then why don't you use the Frank's Red Hot? That's probably why she uses the butter. Cause she combines the butter with the Frank's Red Hot. The All right, grab it, buffalo. see how much we have. Right? I don't know why we wouldn't use buffalo sauce on buffalo wings. She because just calls you know for regular saying? Frank's hot. Yeah, but she mixes that with butter. So maybe the maybe French red hot and point. the butter. Okay, yeah, get, you know get what it. I mean? yeah. Otherwise she wouldn't have said buffalo sauce. Yeah. How much do you need? Six tablespoons. It's like a quarter cup. Yeah, there's nothing here, I think. A quarter cup is four tablespoons. Yeah, baby, look, on the back of this buffalo, on the ingredients, it says natural butter. Oh. Uh, so that's like, I guess, how you make buffalo sauce. Huh. Not me until just now. Me either. It's interesting to me that she wouldn't just put on the ingredients list the buffalo sauce. And she would say... Maybe it's like better that way? Yeah, I don't know. Let's see. All right. Oh! That looks so good. All right, we're doing six tablespoons in one tablespoon of butter, right? That's a lot of hot sauce. Is that what it says? Yeah, six tablespoons. One, two, three, four, five. No way. Six. The whole bottle was six? Exactly. Holy shit. That's the craziest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> And I've seen some stuff. Oh, these are gonna be good. All right, I'm putting the first batch back in with the other batch just to heat them all up together in the air fryer. And then once they're all nice and warm, then we'll take it out and we'll toss them. Looks like they're gonna be really good. I'm excited. Sorry, the door was so dirty and I just cleaned it. So yay, <laughs> excited. This actually made like a lot more than I was expecting. I think this is gonna be plenty for the both of us as a side. Oh my god, and it smells amazing. Now we're gonna toss it with the sauce. Ooh. The most fun thing to me about not cooking with meat is that you can just use the same utensil the whole time. You don't have to worry about like raw meat touching it. Oh my god, I just breathed in. Hot sauce. Don't you feel like I should toss them and then put them back in the air fryer for a minute? Like her picture looks crispy. Yeah, maybe try that then. Is the chicken done though? Because I want to eat it all at the same time. Yeah, it's done. I don't know, to be honest. Uh... Let's just try her recipe. Okay. I just think they look so different. <laughs> I think that I think we need to also get that basket air fryer both. Like you put to have both. What's that? Like the regular air fryer basket. Like the machine. Because we have the toaster oven air fryer. Uh, I feel like that makes a difference. Uh, Alright, here's the final results. Got the cauliflower buffalo nuggets, whatever you want to call them. We're going to dip them in some fat-free ranch, and then we got the chicken. It smells so freaking good. Oh, what do you think? It smells like so unique. Mm -hmm. I think I'm just going to eat it with my hands, too. I think mine needs a little salt, personally. <laughs> You've got that perfect crispy skin like you wanted. Yeah. I think this tastes amazing. Tastes like a store rotisserie chicken. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's try the cauliflower while it's hot. I'm not sure why hers looks so crispy. I want to try it without the ranch first. Hold on. Oh. Is it good? Yeah? Hell yeah. What does it taste like? like? Does it taste like a chicken wing? No. No, it tastes like cauliflower, but it's good. Definitely a little spicy. Mmm. We're definitely mixing two, two flavors. But like, it's not bad. It's funny because these cauliflower things are supposed to be like a buffalo wing replacement but we're eating chicken with them yeah <laughs> but i wanted to eat them as like a vegetable side Right. Okay, here's my consensus on the cauliflower. Um, I put it back in the air fryer for like 
literally 20 minutes maybe a little bit more and I personally like it better like this the more soft it is the more like remnants of like boneless wings to me Zane and I just really like when it's like soft rather than crunchy and the longer you leave it in here the more soft it gets and then the outside gets more crispy and more like boneless wing like so Personally, I would toss them and then put them right back in here for like a really long time But I know that's like kind of a pain in the butt to like wait that long But tastes so much better and it's so much more tender like that even looks more like a boneless wing so freaking spicy though I'm like literally dying. Woo! Okay, you guys we just went on a little like 15 minute Maybe 10 minute walk just to get outside get some fresh air. It felt really good It is now 7 30 at night So the Sun is like kind of starting to set so we just wanted to get in a little mini walk And I also just have so many things on my mind and so many things that I need to get done for example it's 734 and today's video is still not up um I've edited probably 30 seconds of it so I need to try to speed edit actually I'm gonna speed edit I believe in myself I think I can get this video up tonight well I definitely can just how long is it gonna take me we don't know I usually would stand at the kitchen counter at the island and edit because when I'm standing I just like edit quicker and I pay more attention but my feet hurt because of my workout and then I was standing cooking for a long time so I just really want to sit and if I sit on the bed or the couch I will probably fall asleep so we're in the office <laughs> and I feel like I'm never in here except for when we do the podcast but I'm gonna my chair is just great I'm gonna sit here, throw my AirPods. When I put in my AirPods, I like focus really well because it kind of like distracts all the noise around me. I don't hear the cats fighting. I don't hear the laundry going off. Um, so yeah, we're gonna tone out. Don't worry, Zane is here if the cats actually fight. Like, it, it's fine. We have our last loads of laundry going. Thank God. And I have so much to put away and I still wanna try that sheet. So I'm gonna come back to you guys in lots of hours because I just have so much to do. I want to edit a TikTok. I want to edit a video, especially because tomorrow we is a family day. Like I can't really work that much tomorrow. So I'm going to hone in and get some work done. Usually I don't film and edit on the same days, but since we're having the family day tomorrow, I didn't want to film tomorrow. So I filmed today instead. So filming two days in a row and trying to edit in between is kind of hard. Anyways, I'm going to stop rambling and procrastinating this. I will see you guys in a little bit. Oh boy, so excited. Got my video up at like literally exactly midnight my time. So what, 7.30, 8.30, 9.30, 10.30, 11 30, four and a half hours of editing. I paused for probably like 15 minutes maybe and made myself a quick little salad. But other than that, it was straight up editing. So I just sat there, got it done. I'm kind of proud of myself. I got distracted for maybe like five minutes on Instagram, but that's about it. Oh, I went on TikTok a little bit when I went to pee. Let's say like 30 minutes, so like four hours of editing. <laughs> but I just got Aaliyah's birthday present already. Her dry shampoo and her nail kit is in there. And then we just printed up the Amazon gift card. So it's all set to go. We are in charge of tomorrow morning going and grabbing bagels for everyone. So we have to be up pretty early because Aaliyah has like a fun filled day for us. She wants to start the day at like 9 a.m. So we, that means we have to like get up pretty early and make sure that we're ready and go get the bagels and make sure we're back in time. So um, yeah, it's gonna be a fun filled day. I'm mostly fun filled of eating. They have like breakfast, lunch, and dinner plans, which you know, I'm not. I'm not upset about it. I'm pretty excited. Anyways, with that being said, it is now like 1 a.m. I just did the last load of laundry. I also tried editing the TikTok that I wanted to make, the wipe it down challenge. And my transitions just aren't perfect. And it's just, it's a little bit off. Like, it's okay, but like, I feel like the point of posting that TikTok is when your transitions are so smooth. Otherwise, why are you posting it? It's not that cool because I'm just changing from no makeup to makeup. I'm not changing to anything crazy. So I think I might want to refilm that. But I might go tomorrow if I have a chance and go with like a fresh head and try editing it again and see if I can get the transitions clean but if I can't then we're not gonna post her because that's the point of the TikTok is the transitions. Anywho Z, I need to put all this laundry away really like speedy quick. Some of it is Zane so I'm just gonna like separate it all and I also just took out our new bed sheet from the dryer so I'm gonna throw that on and I'm gonna let you guys know what I think about it. Hopefully it doesn't slide off anymore and it fits. That would be ideal. For now, this is gonna go on the cat tree. This thing does everything except host cats. It's like a treadmill. This is just a drying rack. Okay. 
Yes, by the way, before you commented, I'm aware that the bed is stained. It's either from self-tanner or I peed the bed and I just never realized. I'm not really entirely sure. But guess what? We can still sleep. Right, Bella? Birthing pillowcases. <laughs> I've lost it. No, Belly. Don't start. Why do you get so hyper when it comes to sheets? Oh, no. I'm trying to figure out which way is top. Okay, Bella. <laughs> no. <laughs> No! 100% microfiber. Okay, so it's microfiber. Can you stop? You're gonna drive me crazy. And you never drive me crazy. So, the point of this sheet is that it's got like extra room in the corners, you know? So that you can really tuck it under there. <gasps> Ow, Benji! Oh my god, my cats just want me to die today. Can you stop? Oh, you're nuts. You're hyper. You need to stop it. Oh my god, Bella, you're making this really difficult. I don't even know if I'm doing this the right way. How do I? I don't, I can't tell. Usually you can tell because it doesn't fit on one side. <sighs> Send help. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay, we're gonna tuck all this under. Oh, she's tucking away. Oh, she's deep. Oh, she's real deep. That's a deep sheet right there. Ooh, that was a struggle, Bella. I don't know if I did it the right way, like vertical versus horizontal. Like it could have to be that way. I'm not too sure yet. But nonetheless, it's really deep on there. Like usually our sheet ends like right here. So now that it's all the way back there, it hopefully won't come off. There definitely is some extra fabric, but I think I might have just put it on wrong. We'll see how we sleep tonight. I am about to put away all of this laundry speedy speedy quick because I'm so excited to go to bed. It is a 128. And we have to be up at like latest 8.30. I feel like I've gone non-stop today. I also look like I've gone non-stop today. So I'm excited to get into bed. My back hurts. My feet hurt. I'm just excited. I keep forgetting that I worked out today too. Like that's why I'm feeling so sore. Anyways, I'm about to listen to the new Call Her Daddy podcast. Alex just put up um her first solo episode if you guys have been keeping up with that drama if you listen to that podcast i'm so excited to listen to it so i'm gonna throw that on while i put away some laundry sounds like a dandy old time right right i wish there was no laundry involved but that's okay today's notification shout out goes to jessica gonzalez you were the first comment on the video that i literally just uploaded so thank you so much for having on your notifications it means the absolute world to me i love you so very much if anyone else would like a notification shout out you can comment down below letting me know that you have my notifications turned on and you might be in my next video i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching and i will see you all next time Bye, guys.